Well, everyone, Roberto Regas here with ODEI. So hopefully everyone's having an amazing second day of class. And I'd like to welcome you all to the second day of ODEI's Welcome Week. So I wanted to take these videos to kind of um, engage more, especially since we're all virtual this semester, to really discuss what um, ODEI does as an office, as well as our personal philosophies of how we engage with programming and initiatives in regards to diversity, equity, and inclusion, okay? So I can't think of a better term to kind of really start y'all off with it than cultural humility. Cultural humility. So let's come with me on this quick little journey on what that term is, okay? Let me start with the textbook definition of it, okay? So cultural humility incorporates a lifelong commitment to self-reflection and lifelong learning, as well as an ability to maintain an interpersonal stance that is open to others in relations to aspects of cultural identity, okay? So simple right <laughs> so the idea of culture humility is that we are all constantly learning when we're interacting with different people of different backgrounds different cultures different frames of thoughts and experiences that it's building on our knowledge of cultural identity you know and it on top of that we are also looking inwards and really understanding who we are as an individual all the different intricacies and intersections and identities of who we are to really open our, our mindset and really open us ourselves up to this lifelong journey of learning and experiencing all these differences in culture and cultural identity that um, are all around us you know we are part of a of a global community we are part of the most diverse city in the country. Um, we are a very diverse HBCU. Um, and we are, you know, even if we, even if you look at all of our individual student populations, you know, no two people within a community are the same, you know? Um, no two black people are the same in the black community. Black people are not a monolith. In, <laughs> same thing with the Latinx community, you know, no two people are the same as well. The LGBTQIA plus community, the immigrant community, the Muslim community. So the idea of cultural humility is to really um, understand that there's no um, finish line when it comes to really understanding and learning um, about culture, about um, identity, about um, different experiences of other people to really engage and um, work with and interact with. Uh, people from different backgrounds and so um, like I said if you look at our TSU campus our amazing Tigers our faculty staff and students are from all over the world you know um, many of them are from all over the country as well you know and our cultural identities are formed by being from California from New York from Georgia you know we have uh, people that are for, uh, immigrants we have people that are first-generation Americans uh, first-generation college students um, if people that are coming that grew up um, in rural areas in in big cities or they're graduated from public high schools private high schools or homeschooled so all these different um, cultures build up into your own cultural identity and so the idea of cultural humility is to really engage in that lifelong journey and I really want to stress that to everyone to all of our tigers you know our first time freshmen our first time transfers welcome to tigerland and to everyone else as well i really want to um embrace this i this idea of culture of humility you know you know many of us are part of so many beautiful uh cultural identities um to begin with here at our amazing hbcu so i feel like we always have a leg up you know in understanding culture but I want y'all to really engage in that lifelong journey and that lifelong commitment to, to, to really engage in experiencing. It's not just learning in a book and learning facts, you know. It's about really engaging in, identif in different cultural identities. So um, we can even do that in our virtual spaces right now, okay? So I hope that all of our programming and initiatives can um, engage everyone in this journey of cultural humility and um, whenever we get back on campus and we can gather our, our programs, we'll definitely reflect that as well. So um, follow us on ODEI TXSU, our new Pride Center, Pride TXSU on all platforms as well. So 
I will see y'all virtually, right? I will see y'all online. Y'all have an amazing second day and a great semester, y'all. Ciao.